Well, it is time for another epic review with Chris and Danielle. And today I'm excited because we're going to be playing with knives. Epic review, guys. Well, I am in the kitchen today with Danielle to show you guys the Miracle Blade knife set here. Show them the guy on the cover, they'll recognize him. You know this this guy from the infomercials. <laughs> So this is the one and only Miracle Blade. We have a special guest appearance today. Bring them out. No, I'm just kidding. He's not here today. But these are the actual Miracle Blade knives. You always see him cutting everything up with his knife here. But this is actually the entire set. Comes not only with the knives and the hatchet. What would you call that? A cleaver? <laughs> a big ass knife. I don't know. But And it also comes with the scissors. You know, the poultry scissors, yep. I think, to cut turkeys and things. So we've got the whole set. High quality, good material. How do I know it's high quality? Because could you do this if it wasn't? Obviously, a quality... Well, it was a quality set. <laughs> there, that was pilot error. See? You couldn't do this unless it was a good quality set of knives here. Alright, Danielle, let's start cracking these open. The only problem is you don't have a knife to cut into the box to get the knife. Wow, nice. Look, they even got a pineapple on the picture on the cover, just like we have here. Yeah, we have a lot of fun things to cut today. We got a red pepper, some lettuce, strawberries, a watermelon, and a pineapple. Okay, guys, Danielle is going to show you what a few of the knives look like while I kind of read you a little bit of the specs. So, all of these knives are rust resistant, stainless steel, and hardened to a Rockwell C scale hardness grade of 52. And if that means something to you, then you win a prize, because I have absolutely no clue. But I'm assuming it means good. They are very nice, high quality knives. You can just feel it just by holding them. But yeah, all they right. feel really nice. Yeah, actually. they do. And it has a little pressure point for your finger. And let's go ahead then and see what are we going to chop today. You got some kind of crazy fruit salad planned or something? Uh, we could. That's <laughs> pretty much. I know. We got enough well, for it. Let's talk about this fun one first. <coughs> this is actually my favorite knife. Uh, I've had these knives now for seven years. If you want the comparison, actually. We yeah, go show them too, and they can see how well yours held up. So this is mine. It's held up for quite some time. I mean. It looks pretty good. Uh, she told me she had gotten these sets years ago, so I had to bring one in just so we could see. Yeah. But really, other than just So looking... this is the old one, the seven-year one. We'll see here, right? I mean, still yeah, cuts still, pretty good. Still cuts. All right, now let's see the difference in sharpness. That's the real test. Yeah. But I would have to say it held up very well for seven years. Other than the marks and the obvious use on it, it still cuts. And it, there's it no chips. Rust. Yeah, no rust, no chips. They're so, rust free. I would say as far as longevity, I'd have to definitely give it a thumbs up on that. They you seem like they hold up well. <laughs> Nothing like a surprise salad to the face in the afternoon. So now that we're recovered from that, what are you taking a look at there? Is that the salad knife? This is actually the steak knife. Okay. So there are a couple of steak knives, it looks like. There are four, four steak wow. knives. Nice. They all come nicely wrapped with the yeah. card cardboard over them, so you won't hurt yourself in taking them out. Although you still probably could if you tried hard enough. But. Now, we don't have any chicken, but Chris, if you want to go ahead and put your hand right here, we'll just slice that finger right open. And, we'll and I'll show you how much of a chicken I am by not doing that. <laughs> so, let's, all right. Let's well, let's do it. something fun. Let's try a watermelon. Yeah. All right. We're going to test out the slicer. Nice. Which you can do for bread or things that are obviously a little bit too wide for the other knives. Yeah, so. this is a full size knife here. Alright, let's cut her in half and see how she goes. That would do some dismembering. Woo! Cut it like butter. Yeah, that was Yeah. Amazing. Slice it up and do a little. Let's try to do some like um, watermelon triangles or something. All let's right. see. For those of you who don't know, Danielle had actually worked at banquets. You couldn't tell by her um, style here with the cutting dexterity. Didn't you ever cut watermelon wedges? No. Well, me neither, but it seems like something we ought to know how to do. Sometimes things just look like they would be easier than when you actually try to get into it and do it. Hey. Prep cooks. You guys got skills. Hey. They go to school for that Yeah, stuff. they do. Nice. All right, let's try it out. Oh, it even makes it taste delicious. When it's well cut. All right, guys, it does cut a watermelon. Super easy. 
It slices, it dices. Right. But does it chop? I want to hear chop, 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 chop. Well, this one's called the chop and scoop. It's a little bit more of a triangular thing. You can actually chop, scoop it up, put it in the bowl. So that's kind of a nice feature with that one. Wow. So we've got some normal strawberries here. Let's see how well it chops and scoops, shall we? <laughs> Well, it does chop. The chopping Let's part was get good. The scoop. Ta da! It's a serving platter. A, what do you call these? This is a, a red peppa. bell pepper. And peppa. yes, we're going to go ahead and cut the top off with this littler knife. Nice. Do you know how to make it one of those pepper men? And by the time you get it done cut, he's carrying the globe. Yeah. So, how do you slice this now? Would this I don't go into a pasta? Let's try the fillet knife since we don't have any meat. We might as well test it out here. Oh, that's nice. They said it's a little bit of a flexible blade, if you can see that. So it actually can get in between your meat, your poultry, your fish, anything that you're actually trying to fillet. For all of the comments I know we're going to get about how we're cutting everything wrong, hey, she's not hard on the eyes, okay? I could have found somebody with a little more domesticated skills. But... He could be cutting it himself. <laughs> I could be just as well. I assumed you were the one with the, oh, I'm not going to eat no pepper. Aren't they hot? No. Yum. This is the one I'm super excited about and probably the hardest one to cut in test. Pineapples are so tough to do, yep. We're going to go ahead and chop if, a little If we slice right through this thing like butter. We did. Not bad, yeah. I wouldn't get near you with that thing. Right. The way you're coming through them. Now, have you ever sliced a pineapple? Do you know how to do this? I believe so. She believes so. It's all theory until you get a knife in your hand and <laughs> start slicing something. Right. It looks like it's going okay. Man, these knives do go right through everything, though. Yeah, I wouldn't want my hand to be in the wrong place. All right, cut up some squares. Seemed to go through everything we needed it to. Cuts well, all of the stuff is top quality. Four of them are steak knives for personal use. The other seven are every variety of knife you could use. I probably wouldn't even know how to use half of these. But for those of you who are professionals, I think this would have everything you're gonna need to do a you know top quality job. For those of you who are amateurs like us, watch out. Jeez. Then I still think these are easy enough and simple enough to use so that anybody's going to be, you know, successful with them. Yeah, to be honest, I have a cut cone set as well, and I still use these knives because of the unique designs that all of these have. Uh, even Cutco, like I said, doesn't have some of these, and I use mine every day. Yeah, unique features, the ergonomic handles, the um, pressure balls, which allow you to put pressure over the top of the cutting surface. They're even cut for both left and right handed individuals. Yeah, so they're comfortable from either a left or right hand. And then this knife is actually created with the curve so that you can do the slicing it with the front of the blade and you can do chopping with the back of the blade. So some unique knives. If you want to check out the Miracle Blade full set, 11 piece set of knives for yourself, we will put a link underneath this video. And if you want to have some of our fruit, Come on over. Check us out. We're going to be eating for a while. All right, you guys have a good one. See you on the next epic review. Hey, girl. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, we give it a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.